Okay, for today's experiment I'm going to be using Slayer's Exciter. Now what I like about Slayer's Exciter is it's very good at lighting fluorescent tubes. Now today I'm going to be investigating water sterilisation and that's a big problem all over the planet. Now, is what I'm using, it's a UVC germicidal tube. It's a special type of tube which uh, emits UVC light at a certain wavelength which sterilises bacteria and that makes the water drinkable. Now I'll switch it on. So you can see the tube's lit now, and after a minute and a half like that, the water would be safe to drink. Now anybody who's going to be using this in the real world needs to make this container opaque, because this UVC light really is dangerous, it, you know, it gives you cataracts and all kind of weird stuff like that, and it's not good at all. So it needs to be in a sealed container really, uh, opaque as well. But after a minute and a half you'd have clean drinking water, and that's a, a real good, real world use for Slayer's Exciter that. And I'll just switch that off and show you another circuit. I went into the local pound shop and other people have been using these uh, as exciter circuits and stuff. And there's a circuit in here which produces high voltages. What that is, it's a, a bug killing tennis racket kind of thing. So I took that to pieces and I ended up with a little circuit here out of it. It's a high voltage transformer, similar to a Fuji camera circuit really, uh, but it runs on three volts, but it will also run up a one and a half volt battery. So I'll just move this thing over to that. And this works it really, really good. See, it's lit there, and this light, it doesn't have to be really, really bright. As long as it's lit, uh, you can vary the length of exposure to the water. So basically, before on the Slayer Exciter where it was really bright, after a minute and a half, it was the, the bugs would be sterile. I'd leave it for about two and a half of that intensity, and uh, you'd have clean drinking water. So that's from this tiny little circuit there, running off a 1.5 volt, 1 volt battery. So that's the experiment for today. Thanks for watching.